Hello everyone, it's Infinity Gamer here, and I think Corvus Belly may have just beaten out Games Workshop. It's not often I get to say that because, as most of you will know, Corvus Belly is a tiny little cottage industry based in Spain. Games Workshop is a massive powerhouse juggernaut of wargaming, but the two are very comparable in most areas in that they both have their own signature IP that they've brought to sci-fi tabletop skirmishing games. In most cases, Games Workshop, hands down, outperforms Corvus Belly, but with the release of the two new animated movies, I think Corvus Belly has finally done the impossible. So what animated movies are we talking about? Corvus Belly has just released its Paradise Lost animated TV series. Not released, and this is going to be one of the caveats that probably means that Corvus Belly haven't quite beaten Games Workshop, but we will get to that in a second because Games Workshop, about a week, two weeks after Corvus Belly announced their, their Paradise Lost video, brought out an, a teaser trailer for episode one of The Tides, which is called Sacrifice, off of my head. We saw the animator, it's a three-part series coming from Games Workshop with, I believe it's Sacrifice, Harvest, and Bullets are the three parts of the Tides series. This is original content from Games Workshop. These are not stories that you would have seen in the novels or the rich lore that exists around Games Workshop. These are brand new. From the trailers, we can see a Ultramarines Primaris I think it's an apothecary or it could be a mech engineer of some sort. I don't really know. Finding going into a Necron home planet and or Necron something and probably coming out with something. It's it might be a tie that is sacrificing a human or I don't know. Hey, who knows? That's what the TV series is gonna show us. But it's an animated series. It's gonna be available on Warhammer Plus. All of this is known to you Games Workshop fans that probably are looking forward to this because Warhammer Plus did come out. And one of the things that everyone was very excited for was the idea that it was going to have animated series. It was going to have things like that Astartes show that we all looked at, we all loved, thought it was going to be more of that, and then nothing has happened about that since. It still remains probably the best animation ever released around the 40k world, but it's not really released and it's not going to get beyond what we've seen already. So that is what's coming. It's coming to Warhammer Plus. It's going to be a three-part series, Paradise Lost from Corpus Belly. Now, that was announced a little bit before the Tides series was. This focuses on some humans, which a lot of the Infinity World does. And just from the trailers alone, I'm not going to go too much into the story of Paradise Lost itself, but just from the trailers alone, one thing really strikes me. The quality of the animation is considerably different from one to the other. I would have expected the Games Workshop produced animation series to have had next tier animation. We have been in a really good place for animation just generally launched. And I think a lot of brands IP know the power of a really good series for bringing people into the game. Now, Games Workshop's approach strategically is very different. It's to appease the existing fan base, which is why it's going on Warhammer Plus. Obviously the Amazon series that they're talking about and have been for ages and need to make a decision on before October or November, before the rights with Amazon expire or something like that and Henry Cable and all that stuff. Could be cool. Could be the way to be bringing people into 40K. Now with things like League of Legends, with the Arcane series, loved the Arcane series. It was beautiful. Now I know something about it and I have more of an interest than I did yesterday. Even the World of Warcraft movie did a slightly better job of making people interested in World of Warcraft. The Dungeons and Dragons movie, maybe didn't do such a good job of inspiring people to play Dungeons & Dragons. That's where Corvus Belly are going with their animated series. They've openly said that part of the reason that they're working with Lex and Otis about this animated series is because they're looking to bring people into the world of you know, Corvus Belly, Infinity, the game, which is where this animated series is set, because Corvus Belly do have multiple IPs, but this is uh, set within in the Infinity human sphere. And at the moment, there is nowhere that is going to be streaming this. Fundamentally, the reason why there has been a little bit of work going into who is going to be streaming is because Corvus Belly and Lex and Otis are looking to go onto a major streaming platform. They see the value in their animated series as being able to go to a wider audience outside of the Infinity fan player base, people like myself already, and that is what they're holding out for. What they're looking for is a bit of an upswell of demand to see that from the fan base, because obviously from a streaming service perspective, uh, the existing fan base is going to be a target audience already. So what can we expect and what do we know about the Infinity, Par Infinity Paradise Lost? One thing I know is that I'm incredibly grateful to Corvus Belly and Lex and Otis for sending me the exclusive miniature that is being released 
to celebrate the TV series, the animated show. Uh, this is Kassad, who is the main character in the TV show. And you can see him in the series there, in the clips. This, interestingly, and if you are a Games Workshop fan that happens to have stumbled on this video because it mentions Games Workshop, this is hard plastic. Now, you Games Workshop people are like, nothing to shadow it. Infinity has stuck with metal miniatures for longer than maybe they should have done. What they have done now is split out some. So the smaller figurines, your, your basic Space Marines, for example, have been metal pretty much exclusively. For you Games Workshop fans, the idea of hard plastic minis is not exciting, nothing new at all. But for Infinity fans, it is. Because Corvus is still doing metal miniatures for most of their, what we would call S2, which is the smaller line infantry sized figurines. They're all metal. When we then get into the bigger units, S5s and S4s for remotes, so for us those are drones, they are mechanised armoured units, those sorts of things are coming out in a plastic called Sirecast, which is maybe a little bit like the Failcast that Games Workshop fans will know. It's not quite that bad, but it's not as amazing as hard plastic. So we're now excited because some of the miniatures are starting to come out in hard plastic, and that includes the limited edition figure Lex and Otis have apparently been the driving force behind this, but bearing in mind that they are an animation TV shop production company and not a miniature gaming company. I think that's just a really nice way for Corvus Belly to say, hey, look, we've created this hard plastic S2 mini. Don't expect all of them to come out like that. It's a one-off limited edition. The events of Paradise Lost, for those of you that are Corvus Belly fans and follow Infinity, there was a campaign called Operation Paradiso, which some of the eagle-eyed people will notice is one of the books up there. That Operation Paradiso was one of the early campaigns that Corpus Belli ran and focused on the arrival of that big alien force, the Combined Army, coming into the human sphere and announcing that they basically want to wipe off humanity from the face of outer reaches of space. That has changed and the storyline has advanced, but this TV series goes back to those events. And what it is, a Hassassins or Hak Islam faction, which is the Middle Eastern, very Dune-esque faction, looking to recruit someone into their force to stave off the enemy forces, the combined army. It shows you what the stakes are, how precarious our hero situation is, and how unlikely they are to succeed. And then we watch it, and against all odds, they do. And none of that happened in the Games Workshop trailer. We didn't get any sense of the depth of the characters, we didn't get any sense of the jeopardy, we got action scenes, which is what you would expect from a trailer anyway. Then we look at the Paradise Lost trailer, and we do get the stakes, we get the calling, we get the, you're destined for more than this, we get the pained expressions on people's faces, which admittedly for Games Workshop is hard to do when you're hiding behind a Primaris armor mask. But we get a sense that there's a bigger team, we see the Timbot, we see the team formation, we see the battles, we see the fights, we see the enemy arriving, and we see bloodshed, and we see everything that you want to basically get you excited for the content that's to come. And that's how I believe Corvus Belli have managed to outdo Games Workshop in this animated TV series battle, is that what they've done is they've come to market, especially with the first, now remembering this is both of these shops' first animated series, this is definitely a statement of intent. And what I think we've seen from Games Workshop, in my opinion, is an animated series to appease the masses that basically said Warhammer Plus was going to be a way for this sort of content to be done. So they've got, here it is, here's some content, here's some original stuff, it's what you asked for. But it hasn't had that same sort of investment that maybe they're expecting to do when they get the Amazon Prime and in the future when they're working with Henry Cavill and doing all that sort of stuff and investing big money or having someone else invest big money in it. What I like about how Corvus Belli have done this, if they said, this is the first time we're entering into an animated TV series, we're gonna give the fans what they want, by giving them the best we can give them. Artistically, there's a lot more style to this. There's a lot more depth to the story. We're also seeing a story that hasn't been told before, but I think this honors the fans a lot better than what I've been seeing from the Tithes series from Games Workshop. Are you an Infinity fan and you've seen the animated series? What are your thoughts on that? Bear in mind, it's the first time they've made such an investment into such a, an area like this. Are you a fan of Games Workshop, Warhammer 40k? Are you excited for the tides? Have you compared the two? And have you come to your own objective opinion as to which you think is better? And if one falls short, really keen to hear your thoughts as to why, regardless of which side of the fence you sit on. I love hearing how you hobbyists and you fans feel about content that the people that we fund through model purchases uh, give us. So really give me your thoughts, your honest thoughts on both the trailers and 
I will be back soon with another video.